Okay, so the next thing I need to do um, to get my Lightorama controllers working on a DMX network is I need a crossover cable. Now, if you're an old Ethernet guy, when I say crossover cable, you need to not think about your typical crossover cable. This is special. So, in the world of DMX, data is transferred on pins 4 and 5, which, if you wired up your cable normally, is orange and orange stripe. Lightorama, however, uses pins 1 and 2. That means when we make this cable, it is not reversible. So I have marked one end D for DMX, and I have marked the other end L for Lightorama. So what I want to do is I want to take uh, the blue from the Lightorama, and I've cut off all the extra cables just so I don't confuse myself, which I do all the time. And I want to hook that up to the orange stripe. Now, I'm not using this as a production cable. I'm just doing this for my own fun. If you want to make a production, you just get yourself some heat shrink, a little bit of solder, and you make yourself a nice, righteous cable. Now, the nice thing is, with this pin out, you won't fry anything. You just need to avoid... There's a couple of Lightorama pins that carry some current, but if you're just playing with the blue ones, you are fine. Okay, and then of course I take orange to blue stripe and I twist those guys together. Okay, I can do that better. Okay, now I'm just using this for test purposes, so I'm just going to bend these guys so they don't get in each other's way. All right, now what I want to do is I want to test. A little sperry tester here, and this I put it on the DMX side. Take this other guy and I put him on the tester side. This is the light aroma side. And when he sends a signal, he's going to go one, two, whatever one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight through the pairs. And over here, I am seeing it show up on pairs one and two. Okay, so now if I disconnect it and I connect it up the other way, what do you think will happen? I watch over here, and sure enough, pins four and five. Okay, so this is what I want. So now what I'm going to do is go over here. I've already got my bridge. I'm going to use a bridge as my Ethernet adapter. So I've disconnected my RS-45 uh, USB dongle for Lightorama, and I have my bridge hooked up and so this is hooked up to the same ethernet as my PC this is sitting on um, 192.168.1.209 and I'm going to put the DMX side into here and then the Lightorama side goes to Lightorama oh and it fell apart let's try to twist them and get together again Okay, and I'm doing this with the light aroma pair powered off. Okay, and I plug him into there. Okay, so if you're following along, you can test the camera. I have my Ethernet coming in to my bridge, and I have a video that I'll cross reference for uh, configuring the bridge. Basically, it has E131 coming in. And then it has RS-45 coming out, which is the same protocol that Lightorama speaks on, just on different pins. And so this crossover cable, we have the DMX side plugged into the bridge. It comes up to here. There's my cross. And then it actually goes into the Lightorama. Now, from there, I have another controller and another controller. And for those, I'm just using regular old Cat5 cable.